Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. All the way from Mer County, welcome to another mind-blowing episode of the Great Debaters Contest. I am your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yembok. Today we have Kathy Rune Mixed and Really Girls tackling a motion that states, military service builds better citizens. To proposal number one, you have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rita from Kathirone Mixed Day Secondary School, ready to propose the motion that reads, mandatory military services builds better citizens. And what is this mandatory? According to the Oxford Learners Dictionary, mandatory means compulsory or required by law. Citizens, these are the people living in a particular, legally living in a particular country. Ladies and gentlemen, you remember the Garissa massacre. We lost many intellectuals. Our wish, they were given this training. This, this military services training builds better citizens in this way. One is able to, one is able to, to, to maintain his own, our own security. This is announced by the fact that this, the, Garissa, the Garissa student, the Garissa University student, if they were, the, if they had the lowest level of training, they would have saved their lives. Even if they would have died, better to die while trying to fight for your life. Countries like Djibouti and, Ray, and Burundi, they have less population. This means that not many, 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 many citizens will go to fight or jobs in security sectors. This means other, other sectors like education, medicine, means professions. But to, when you train everybody, all citizens, one is able to maintain the security by him or herself. These mandatory military services save the government the, the money they would use to recruit security personnel. This is announced by the fact that if everybody has this, the technique to fight, or let's say to defend him or herself, why recruit this, this security personnel? Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your opening statements. I, Purity Kendi, from Weary Girls, Sandra strongly to oppose the motion that states mandatory military service builds better citizen. Allow me to quote John F. Kennedy. He said that, ask what you can do for yourself first and not what you can do for your country. What do I mean to do? What do I want to try to bring out there? It's time for us to really concentrate on what we want to do and what we want to be and not to do what others want us to be. Let me ask you a question, my dear friends. Should those who don't want to be a part of military service be forced to do to serve their country? Of course, they don't have to be forced to do so. Every man has a price. Every man has a right and freedom to do what he or she likes. So, allow people to do what they want to do. Their life, their choice, their training skills, their choice. Thank you. Okay, time for rebuttals. Proposal number two, you have three minutes. This is Ruth Mwandwa from Kadirone. I am here about to oppose the motion that says mandatory to propose the motion that says mandatory military services builds better citizens. I'm going to answer the question that my counterpart has said. She have asked, why should people be forced to be rec recruited to? To be trained, I'm going to answer you. First of all, you, you cannot know that you have a talent to run or ability to run without first meeting with a man hitter and trying to chase you. Then my point is this: 
sexual harassment. We hear of cases of rape every day. Our ladies are being raped. What if those ladies have security, uh, are dread? Cannot, can they not defend themselves? They cannot be raped simultaneously like that. They can help themselves. This case, I remember my sister three months ago, as she was moving from Nairobi, she met a, she met a rapist. I don't know to explain him. That rapist caught... <laughs> Rapist. That, re that rapist raped her. Do you know why? Because she had no fighting skills. What if she had fighting skills? The, the, the rapist could not... What if she had those fighting skills? The rapist could not work perpendicularly on her. Now. That is... is why I declare that people must be trained in order to protect themselves. Another reason is because of secure insecurity. Robbers, I remember last, the last two days, robbers came at our home and took our valuable things. They, they, broke, they took imagine, in fact, my father and what they are all 10 years struggling to buy at elevation. And when and when the robbers came at our home, they never wanted to know. What if we were trained? My father could, could be able to protect his things. What if we were trained? My father could not let our things go like that. I remember to end what my fellow colleague here said about the Garissa massacre. In fact, we lost many people. We lost people who could be fun makers like my mother. We lost many people. That is why... I feel to say, if they were trained, then they could be able to assist themselves. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes. I, Kashiki Kalani from the Girls, is here to oppose the motion that goes, mil mandatory military service builds better citizens. Of course, it, of course, it does not. Because, you see, there's a friend of mine who has said that the government, the, if you are, you are trained, you can be able to protect yourself. But there is this: if you take, if you try to, to the government comes and try to train everybody in this in this hall. What, are, what about the previous military agents who are who are doing their work of protecting people? Their service will have will have them demand that that will lead to what? It will lead to job job. It will be to unemployment. Meaning what? They won't get the, the jobs they are doing. They won't do them again because of what their, their service hours not demand. And another thing, everything is done for a purpose and for a reason. It is done for a purpose and for a reason. The government kept placed the military servant there so they can serve us. What if you we, we go and serve ourselves? If a teacher teaching, then you come as a student and come teaching. What will the meaning of that teacher in that class. Will there be any meaning? Everybody should be responsible in his or her part. Everybody should be specialized in the work that is, is in this country. Another point is that the skills acquired, they are, they are misused in a way that if I was trained, then I was, my, my work became meaningless because maybe the, the government trained everybody. When I go there, I want to look at you as you protect yourself. I will, I will form my own group because I have the skills and I have the capability. What I will do, I will form my own group and I will take a revenge with the government because of making me lose my job, making me become a miserable person in the, in the country. That is one thing. I, I cannot just take a look at you as you take my job and do it on, on, my, on my behalf. That one I cannot allow. Another thing is that... It is time consuming. As our uh, mother Mia, our uh, honored mother Mia, if you tell her not to come to, to go to the military service now, to be trained there, all of, maybe the, the, the training will take 15 months or whichever time it will take. Madam, will you leave your work to go and be trained there? Imagine the torture. The torture that is going on there, the experiences you are going to, you are going to go through. Imagine you cannot even be able to tolerate about those things. You are, you are used to staying in the office, doing your work there, just writing receipt and all that, and you are paid a good salary. But if you tell me, 
that I should go and be trained. For what reason? Unless I'm earning my money. Me, I cannot allow that to happen. Never! <laughs> Another thing is there will be school dropouts. In a way that you see, if... Okay, my point to you, Andrea, and thank you. Double tap kwa investor, si hitaji kuko kwa blackout. Why electricity bill? Double tap. Kila kitu tu ni double tap. With Mpesa, it's just a click of a button away. It's fast, efficient, and easy. Thumbs up to Mpesa. Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. Proposals have been asked if military training is made mandatory for all citizens, won't criminals have it as well? Won't that sort of cancel out its effect? And the opposers have been asked if it's not possible for us to uh, undergo military training while going on with our lives and our work as well. <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes. Al-Shabaab, Al-Shabaab, Al-Shabaab. They have turned out to be the son of the deal. Every time you hear of uh, incidences of uh, Incidences where killings are involved. Can you still talk of Al Shabab? What comes in your mind? Al Shabab. They're the ones who have caused that. I'm leaving some Rangeri from Kadrina Day. Or uh, to answer the question that has been asked by my friend here, uh, I want to make it very clear that, uh, despite of the fact that the Reaper has uh, acquired military skills, and, and, and the girl also acquired military skills. It means that the girl can defend herself instead of just keeping quiet and just giving herself out to the, to the reaper. Yeah, you, at least you can defend yourself a little bit instead of just, just keeping quiet. My uncle, who is now a retired soldier, told me that uh, uh, actually, despite of the fact that uh, uh, security personnel are given uh, uh, military skills, they are also taught how to behave uh, out there in the society. And I want to make it very clear that when people go to be trained in the military, they are, they are, they are, also, they are also given uh, uh, you know, guidance on how to behave out there. And I have, I have a number of uh, uh, security personnel in my community. And I, want, I, I, I just want to, to, to say that I appreciate them so much because they are well disciplined. Yeah, and supposing that now Kenyans are, are given these, uh, these skills, what do you expect that would happen? We would have very, very good models, very good models in the, in the society. We would have very, very productive people. People are, 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 are taught how to, to, to turn and face, face the world the way it is. I think that is very clear. Secondly, uh, uh, it gives I, it gives them knowledge to disarm criminals. The same same uncle of mine told me that uh, well, uh, by looking at the, the, at the face of a criminal, you can tell. Yeah, if a soldier comes here right now, they can tell. They can tell that uh, there is a, maybe there is an al Shabaab allowed. They can tell by look of the eyes. That is very, that is very true. That's a fact. So, supposing that Kenyans are given these skills, what do you expect that would happen? Then we will be very keen. Every time we walk around, uh, even in the towns, we are very keen. We are very keen. If you look at someone, you can tell whether that person has got, has got a weapon that can harm you. Hence, you protect yourself. Thank you. Opposition, you also have three minutes to respond to the audience. My name is Faith Kirote from Rire Girls. I'd like to answer the question that was posed that was directed to us. You asked uh, if we can only get tactics to fight. This is my answer to you. We don't only get tactics to fight, but let me tell you something. Even if I don't go for that military training, I can scream. When someone comes to rape me, don't you have a mouth? You have a mouth. You can scream and you can ask for help. Another point, my first opponent said that uh, we have 
if you go for those military training, you not you will get other you, you will not get other jobs. I like to tell you this: we have some people who have undergone this training and they have other jobs, and and they still have other jobs to do. You just can't go there and only do one job. Uh, you say that your sister could not be able to fight. I have this question. Did, did that person who was raping your sister armed, and if he was equipped, how could you fight that person if you don't have the equipment? I meant, and I go f through that training, but you don't have the equipment to fight these people. So I cannot be able to fight in the, in the direct way. You said, uh, our, our dad opposer said that we have we don't have, when people go for this training, you have, you become morally upright. I'd like to oppose you with a strong point. Don't we have leaders who are morally upright, like Obama, we have Uhuru Kenyatta, we have Nelson Mandela, they are all morally upright, yet they didn't go for this training. I'll oppose you with that strong point. Thank you. Time now for closing submissions. Proposers, you have one minute. I have two burning answers in my heart. I will answer first for the past for the first person who asked me. Can somebody can somebody if somebody have training skills, can she, can she not be raped? Do you think that we are all that you serious to be raped when we are we are just keeping quiet to my fellow colleague? I would like to answer your question. You have you have said that you can scream when you are when you are being raped. My friend, you scream so no one comes to threaten you. You can scream and now nobody can, can come to save you. Even the rapist will continue raping you even if you scream. And to my, to, thank you, that is what I have to say. Opposition, you have a minute for your final submission. I mean absolutely no offense to all forces volunteers. But the decision that one has to make brings about and one has to think the consequences. Think about this. Rich man's war is a poor man's fight. And this, we have to change this to every man's fight is a choice. I will answer you first. You asked, forcing people to acquire skills, does it help? No, it does not help. What if I use those skills wrongly? I cannot acquire the same skills with my mother. What if we end up fighting in the house, quarreling all the time? I cannot acquire the same skills. Everybody cannot acquire the same skills because we'll end up torturing each other. And for that, I hope my colleagues will join us to oppose this motion. Thank you. Kenya, Ruth, and Livingstone, I want to encourage your teamwork. The force that was there on the stage did not come down at all. It went flying in the same pace. Especially Ruth, you're very passionate, you know? Um, Candy as well. Uh, Caroline, especially Caroline, you know, you're so real, you know? I, you represented the team spirit and uh, Faith as well. I, I want to applaud the entire team and just say that I was, I was marveled at how passionate you were and how you held the motion. I think what I lacked was the depth in, in the arguments that you brought forth. And, and so going forward, you know, you're, you're not struggling as a team to work on your style and presentation and your passion. I think what you really need to build for the two schools is the content that then would, would you know, put you above, above the rest. I think the other challenge was the coherency of argument. And when you want to convince, who are the credible people that you're making reference to? All the best. What I can tell the debaters is, when it comes to content, I marked you down. When it came to humor, I highly scored you. But you see, what will make you win the debate is not uh, the outward show, the humor, but what will make you win a debate is content. You should have content and address the content. Thank you for making it to the GDC stage. At 58.5%, really girls have tied with Kathy Rooney. Please give them a round of applause.
We'd like to thank the debaters on stage for giving us a very humorous debate. And on behalf of Safaricom and PESA and KBC Channel 1, we thank you for, tuning, for tuning in. Follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA, and we'll see you next time. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yumbok. Thank you for watching. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.